One thing when you think of when it comes to holiday time is probably going to be about the big bucks. Okay, Bruce Celery is here to talk about a budget yeah. during the holidays. Yeah. So apparently you need a budget Here's during the you holidays. You need a budget if last year you uh, spent more than two months paying off your credit card. Okay. Or you currently have a balance on your credit card or you just worry about it. So if you oh. don't worry about it, you never carry a balance, you buy whatever the heck you want on holiday. Oh, okay, Fantastic, then. do whatever you want, celebrate away. But if you worry or if you carry a budget, yes. you need to be listening. Actually, even if you don't need a budget, you need to be listening, just be smug about it. Just be like, I don't mean that. I mean, somebody else does, not me. The problem, the problem around this time of year is that we get really emotional about oh, it. Oh my gosh! Okay, we get so super emotional about many different things. Mm -hmm. Remember that overspending is overspending. Right. And we, you know, if you're buying shoes for yourself and you're like, oops, I accidentally bought some shoes. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But we justify it when it's stuff for our kids and for our families. Mm -hmm. Overspending, still overspending. And so you have to find that balance for yourself as a parent. Uh, Second, gifts aren't love. I don't know if you They're knew not? that. They are not love. <laughs> we have done such a good job, I think, in many areas, uh, removing that link, like love and food. We've been working to remove that link. They are aren't you saying love. food is not no. love? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just breaking the paradigm. We're in the matrix here for Tracy Moore. Uh, and the last thing I'd say around ho the holidays is if you are considering tweaking things or changing things, it yeah. can be scary. It is unfamiliar and yes. it can be scary. So just know that, wow, if I'm considering doing things a little differently, you might be a little anxious about that. Now you're saying it doesn't really matter what your number is though. I don't care what the number you is. You just need a number that you're yeah. not going to go beyond. Yes, yeah, so you're going to add this stuff up and then you're going to have a number mm -hmm. and then also know how you're going to pay for it. So you say, listen, the holidays cost me two grand. That's what it cost me. Cost me a grand. Cost me five grand. Whatever it costs you, Yeah. how are you then going to pay for it? Because the credit right. card bill arrives in January or February and people open it and go, oh, what happened? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened. You were in the mall. That's what happened. No surprise there. Uh, okay, the, the number can be whatever you want. You got to know how to pay uh, for it. Walk us through sort of how to organize this whole thing. Are yeah. we writing down every single thing? You may want to, depending on how detailed you want to be. But there are some okay. big buckets and some surprises within the big buckets. So gifts, of course. Many people buy gifts. But are there people you buy gifts for that you just like, oh, right, I do buy a gift for the teacher. Yes, every year yeah. I forget people. Is there a charitable contribution that you would like to make or do make? Uh, yeah. On the clothing and entertainment front, yeah. people are like, oh, right, I did just buy a tacky holiday sweater or yeah. a fancy new dress. I that got my counts. hair and nails done. Those kinds of things count. Uh, hosting can be really expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, liquor, decor, that kind of stuff. And also on the travel and entertainment front, it includes your tickets to the Christmas Carol or whatever nutcracker you're going to go to see. Yeah. Babysitters, cab yes. fare, flights, all that kind of stuff. So think really deeply about what's on that list because it may be larger than you uh, originally anticipated. How can we be a little bit more creative? Oh my gosh, I, I had such a great time finding these ideas. So in my family, we did one year, we did $5 Christmas. Yeah. So the gifts had to be $5. And I used to lead tours all over the world. So I collected the toiletries from hotels. Yeah. And everybody received soaps of the world. <laughs> Yeah, so you can do that. Uh, one, another one is a book exchange. So you wrap up a book that you love, not oh, just a I book. Like you and I idea. get a lot of free books. Don't do that. A book yeah. that you love that but you read. But I like to pass on books that yeah. I love. Have you ever heard of the white elephant game? No. Where you bring something that you don't want anymore. You wrap it up. Mm -hmm. The first person in the group party opens it up, and then the second person can either choose a gift from under the from the pile yeah. or steal the gift that was already opened. Ooh. So it's a raucous, crazy, super fun kind of game. My family would like. Oh, that. they would like that, right? Because yeah. it's like, oh, it's a plastic f singing fish. I want that. <laughs> Great. And then here's another one that doesn't cost a penny, but is wonderful. It comes from my mom. Okay. Who's super oogly boogly. My mother's Aww. like, you know, makes her own yogurt and worships the sun, that kind of mom. Yeah. She uh, has this acknowledgement exercise. And okay. what you do is you write something wonderful about every person and put it in their stocking or in their present or in an envelope or whatever. Yeah. So you get to open up and read all these awesome things that people have said about you doesn't cost a penny That's and nice. I love that exercise it's a wonderful thing don't necessarily do it with teenagers because they may not be <laughs> super signed up for saying super nice things but you know it's a great uh, it's a great way to approach things in a cheap way
I love that idea, and it probably yeah. it, it, it can mean a lot more. Yeah. Dr. Karen Gordon once said she does um, letters, and so that's what Leo and I do. It sounded so like, oh my God, I'm gonna barf from my mouth. <laughs> yeah. But then when we did it in real life, it's actually the most beautiful thing we do every Christmas. It's a summation of the year. It's the things that we've gone through, and it's the stuff we love about each other. That's beautiful. And we exchange that every Christmas. Do you hand no write gifts. It? I do. Or type it in Word. I handwrite it. Because if you typed it in Word, you could just reuse it every year, <laughs> which would be super fast. Just add a few, remember that time, and then just say it. Just change the date. Yeah, change the date. <laughs> that would be very efficient. Christmas shopping done in 15 seconds. I want to know how you feel about regifting. Uh, it's high risk. And is I don't it? particularly love it because what I think a lot of the regifting is around gifts that are obligations. Yeah. Instead, like I'm supposed to give something, something, something. Yeah. But with Abby, because she won't watch this right now because she's only seven. Yeah. So we do it because I get you. Know, I went to this event and I got all this stuff from the event, like um, canvases and paints and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I hoard the stuff that I receive totally. over the year. I'm almost no longer going to be able to do that. She is on to me. She's on to you. She's on to me. Yeah. She just had her birthday, and what we've always done is separated her gifts, and we don't let her open all her gifts at once. We hide half the gifts. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this year, she's like, where are the gifts? Where are the rest of the gifts? Oh, this isn't all the gifts. She knows. She's figured it out. Yeah. She's figured getting, it out. So regifting is not, not such a big thing. Okay, all right, I like it. Um, resetting expectations. This how do we chill so, out a little yeah, bit about the holiday yeah, season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do and you have to talk about family and maybe friends about how you're gonna reset expectations. Yeah. Let's pair back. Some people might not be prepared to do that. So yeah. remember that they're emotional and that maybe a solution that you have with your family might not work with your friends or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And you know, my best friend on the planet is still a gift giver, and so we have to navigate that. I give gifts to almost no one else in the family, but I do make sure I bring out my laughing hat. That's important. So if you're getting distressed, distressed about the spending, laugh a little. Just laugh, Just laugh a little. It's going to be fine. It's all right. Yes. It's fine.